Mario Livio, why, what makes us curious? Embark on a fascinating journey through the world of curiosity with Why, What Makes Us Curious by Mario Livio. The book unveils the mysteries of curiosity by investigating psychology, neuroscience, and several other disciplines. Delve into the two axes of curiosity discovered by psychologist Daniel Berlein, and wander through the curious lives of Leonardo da Vinci and Richard Feynman, who exhibited an insatiable thirst for knowledge. The book also explores the neural correlates of curiosity, revealing how it activates different regions of the brain and its significant role in cognitive development. Be prepared to discover the ways curiosity has unfolded across human history and the remarkable people who have let it guide their lives. The Science of Curiosity Investigating curiosity means exploring psychology, neuroscience, and other disciplines. Being surprised sparks the brain into action, causing physical symptoms and emotional reactions. There are two axes to curiosity, perceptual to epistemic and specific to diversive. Epistemic curiosity fuels quests for knowledge, while diversive curiosity avoids boredom. A Curious Mind Renaissance man Leonardo da Vinci's insatiable curiosity inspired groundbreaking exploration and development across a tapestry of areas, from dissection to astronomy to complex machines and more, leaving a profound impact on history and science. This passion was exemplified in his 15,000 pages of elaborate drawings and notes, which he used to categorize and understand the intricate connections between natural phenomena. Leonardo da Vinci was the epitome of curiosity, spanning across numerous fields, from art to botany to flight. The ability to learn from exploration and experience, coupled with restlessness and a desire for discovery, allowed him to leave an incredible legacy as a Renaissance man. He took a creative approach to dissecting bodies, attempting to understand the complexities of joints and muscles, which inspired his attempts to apply mathematical laws to natural phenomena. His mirror-written, coded notebooks, which contained thousands of pages of notes and drawings, were an example of how science, technology, and art can blend effortlessly. Da Vinci's all-encompassing nature in mastering multiple fields is defined by Sixent Mihaly as a multitude. Leonardo da Vinci's lifelong approach to learning underscores the importance of instilling an insatiable curiosity in everyone from an early age. Unconventional Genius Discover the life, work, and wisdom of the revolutionary physicist Richard Feynman, a man who believed that learning was key to unlocking the beauty of nature. Richard Feynman, often referred to as the Sherlock Holmes of physics, was a genius who worked on the quantum theory of electromagnetism and was known for his originality of thought. Unlike typical scientists, he would delve into mysteries such as the brain's time sense and believe that curiosity-driven knowledge adds to nature's awe and poetry. Feynman was a multifaceted individual who had an unconventional approach to learning. He learned to draw from his friend Jerry Zorthian, in return, Feynman would try to teach him physics. Feynman's revolutionary, Feynman diagram, showing the interactions of quantum particles exemplifies his original thinking. In addition, he felt that understanding a phenomena scientifically did not detract from their beauty, but instead added to it. Feynman's inquisitive mind was not limited to physics, he extensively studied biology, astrophysics, and psychology. He emphasized on the limits of human understanding and the importance of humility. His groundbreaking question during a talk in 1959 amazed listeners when he asked, would the 24-volume Encyclopedia Britannica fit on the head of a pin? In 1985, graduate student Tom Newman proved him right with cutting-edge technology. Feynman was a true believer in the value of knowledge. He believed that being perceptually curious was like being deprived, conflicted, or hungry. Feynman's life and work embody the importance of creativity, curiosity, and the desire to constantly challenge yourself by learning. The Science of Curiosity Humans have a natural tendency to seek knowledge and avoid information gaps, but science lacks a comprehensive theory of curiosity. Cognitive psychology and neuroimaging are offering insights into the neural correlates of different types of curiosity. 
Some neuroscientists describe curiosity as a drive state for information and a craving to learn. Psychologist George Lowenstein's information gap theory suggests that people feel discomfort when encountering incompatibility gaps between existing knowledge and new information, leading to a conscious evaluation of their ability to close the gap. Factors affecting how different topics pique curiosity include novelty, complexity, uncertainty, and conflicts with existing biases. Leonardo da Vinci and Richard Feynman represent the rare high-end spectrum of curious individuals. Epistemic-specific curiosity drives the search for answers to big scientific questions, while diversive perceptual curiosity fuels the search for gossip and Twitter updates. The Science of Curiosity Curiosity is a known unknown that can be explained by a relationship called an inverted u-function. In 19th-century psychology, increasing stimulus intensity leads to positive then negative arousal. Two conflicting systems drive curiosity, a reward system for exploration and an aversive system that decreases curiosity when stimulus becomes threatening. These findings suggest that there are underlying mechanisms driving curiosity. The Dual Optimal Arousal Theory The Dual Optimal Arousal Theory proposes that curiosity is self-motivating and triggers both pleasant and unpleasant feelings at moderate stimulus intensities. Anxiety and avoidance of exploration arise in response to intense or confusing stimuli. Research shows that people become more curious when they have some knowledge of a topic but feel that there is still a gap in their understanding. Differences in curiosity levels relate to people's openness to experience. Epistemic curiosity, driven by the desire to understand choices and maximize knowledge, is intrinsically motivating according to gameplay studies. Psychologist Jordan Littman posits the concept of i-curiosity arising from pleasurable interest and de-curiosity from feeling deprived of information. The Lifelong Love for Learning Children's desire for knowledge isn't just a passing curiosity they search for answers systematically. They discover the causes of phenomena, taking an interest in the inverted U function stimuli that are neither too simplistic nor too complex. Even when they mature, the urge to learn does not diminish, and adults can still feel a burning passion to comprehend something unexpected. As people grow older, they seem to seek thrilling experiences less intensely. However, their enjoyment of learning continues to develop throughout their life. Mapping Curiosity Neuroscientists have found that stimulating curiosity through interesting topics lights up the brain's reward-related dopamine system. Researchers at the University of Amsterdam demonstrated that unclear visual stimuli trigger activity in areas of the brain sensitive to unpleasant conditions, while satisfying curiosity releases dopamine, giving an individual feelings of relief and reward. Additionally, actively pursuing knowledge, or volitional learning, is more effective at encoding information than passive learning. This understanding of why and how we learn can help us develop a thirst for knowledge and better retain the information we seek. The Origins of Human Curiosity Our evolution towards high-level abstraction has led to a larger, more curious brain as a result of our ability to walk upright in the discovery of cooking, leading to a feedback loop of increasing intelligence. Language emerged, augmenting our curiosity and starting a new intellect-boosting feedback loop in Homo sapiens, leading to the scientific revolution. Human beings' ability to think abstractly has evolved over time, resulting in an increase in curiosity, which is the driving force behind exploration. This capacity for abstraction is due to the 86 billion neurons in the human brain that pass electrochemical signals along axons and dendrites, with the wrinkled cerebral cortex handling most high-level associative processing. A more significant number of cortical neurons correlates with a higher level of intelligence. Early hominids' ability to walk upright reduced their energy costs and enabled them to forage over a more extensive range. As they developed hunting skills and larger brains, meat gradually became a more significant part of their diet. When cooking food was discovered, it became more digestible, leading to an evolution that resulted in larger, more curious brains. Language emerged around 500,000 years ago, which augmented the drive towards greater curiosity, leading to a new, intellect-boosting feedback loop in Homo sapiens. 
As civilizations developed, abundance became more widespread, leading to settlements and social structures, which gave birth to yet another curiosity revolution, the scientific revolution. The Virtue of Curiosity The book explores the intriguing stories of individuals who embraced their curiosity to pursue their passions and become successful in their chosen fields. From top physicists with short attention spans to a Hubble-fixing astronaut with a restless desire to learn, the book highlights how curious people maintain an intellectual playfulness. The trait, once regarded as a vice, is now celebrated as a virtue in the modern era. Through case studies of autodidacts, including renowned paleontologist Jack Horner and eclectic artist Vic Muniz, the book underscores how staying open to the unfamiliar can yield unexpected results. The Virtues of Curiosity Curiosity has been a vital trait for human survival, mating, and societal building. Research shows that everyone has a different level of curiosity, which is inheritable through genes and nurtured through culture. Despite its denigration throughout history, curiosity remains an essential driving force for human thought and progress. By cultivating one's curiosity through observation, hypothesis formulation, and testing, one can tap into its virtues. However, there are concerns that the ready availability of information on the internet might turn people away from curiosity. Nonetheless, curiosity continues to be a key tool for exploration and discovery. As we conclude our exploration of curiosity through the book, Why, What Makes Us Curious, we learn that curiosity manifests itself across various disciplines and in numerous ways. Curiosity drives quests in science, art, and other areas, shaping great minds such as Leonardo da Vinci and Richard Feynman. The neural underpinnings of curiosity continue to be uncovered as we gain new insights into how it drives human cognition and development. Curiosity has been a catalyst for the growth of human society throughout history, pushing people to venture into the unknown and expand their horizons. So, let us embrace curiosity and continue to be in awe of all that the world has to offer, from life's most minute details to its grandest questions.